All right, so um, we, uh, we introduced a um, bootstrap uh, grid system to be able to lay out uh, the content uh, based on uh, the way we uh, resize uh, the, the, the page uh, and to target certain, um, uh, certain um, uh, devices, right? As, we, as the screen becomes smaller, we, we, uh, we, we, we change the, the, the layout, all right? So let's, let's reuse this uh, to implement some of our uh, uh, some of our pages. Okay, so let's start with the uh, uh, the website list. Right, so we currently have the um, this uh, current implementation where we can go into uh, the login page. We can log in, and we are in the profile page, uh, and then we we click on the websites to uh, display a list of websites. Okay, so let's work on the list of websites uh, next. All right, uh, so I'm going to start by copying uh, some of the pages that we already have since they already have the header um, well they don't have the footer but you're gonna add that yourself right but uh, let's let's grab some of that uh, and I'll call it a uh, website list I think that's what we said to call it uh, in the assignment okay uh, so if I if I refresh um, oh, I guess websites is not the name we want uh, let's uh, go back to the profile and rename it, rename the link to be website uh, list, I believe. Website list. Uh, so if I go back to the profile and refresh and I click on websites, uh, there it is. I am the website list. Uh, I'll change the, the header at the top. Instead of say profile, we'll say websites or websites. Okay. Uh, and there I So I am in the websites. Uh, and let's uh, add here a list of uh, websites. All right, so I'm going to blow away most of the content down below. I'm going to leave container fluid, uh, and uh, but most of most of the content is going to go away. Um, all right, so we want a list of uh, websites. Um, uh, one one particular uh, um, layout that I prefer, but uh, you can you can you can you can use your own. But there's a particular component that I prefer, right? That's uh, uh, that's list groups right here. So list groups uh, just uh, renders a, a list of elements, right? With with some styling, some uh, some borders, some rounded corners, um, and it's 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 very concise, right? Uh, 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 um, uh, we don't there's not a not, there's not a, a lot of uh, uh, of HTML and layout that we need to put in. Uh, it's just a very simple way to just display a long list of things. All right, so let's, uh, let's grab the list to just get, start, get us started. And I'm going to paste it in there. Uh, and if I go back to my, uh, my page, I have a list of things. Okay, right now they're not, they're not any particular anything, right? But uh, let's start with this. Okay, um, uh, let's see. Uh, we, we might need, uh, we might need a uh, Perhaps the uh, first of these uh, of these uh, rows to be perhaps like the title, right? That might dis might tell us what the actual content is about. Maybe some context. Uh, so perhaps we can highlight uh, the very first uh, of these line items, right? We can highlight it. Uh, notice that uh, the implementation is that you have a regular UL, right? A regular UL without the classes would be very uninteresting, right? For instance, let me just show you. Uh, it would be just um, uh, just a whole bunch of just um, uh, bullet points, right? But at, by adding the the classes, it just makes it that more, much much more interesting, right? Um, so so there's additional classes that you can add to this, right? To for instance highlight the very first one of these line items, right? For instance, you can make this uh, active. Notice that as I type, uh, the IDE gives me some um, uh, um, suggestions, right? So I'll, I'll use active, and the combination of group item, list group item, and active uh, just highlights that first uh, item, right? That first item right there. Make sense, right? Uh, and uh, the other ones, it could be the actual list of um, of my uh, websites. Perhaps uh, um, the first. This this might be several columns. The first column might be that this is the name of the website. Okay, name of the website, and here I might have the various websites that I'm working on. Um, I'm working on uh, Wikipedia. Uh, I'm 
Wikipedia. I can't type today. Um, and, uh, or here I have uh, Facebook, um, Twitter, Amazon. Right, so these are various various websites that uh, we're, we're, we're implementing. Uh, and, and perhaps on the right-hand side, uh, we might want some controls, right, that would allow us to maybe uh, edit that particular website or create new websites. Uh, one quick way that uh, we can uh, achieve that uh, is by adding perhaps a hyperlink at the end um, um, or a glyphicon or some kind of uh, image that, uh, that would, we could use to manipulate this, this data. So for instance, we can use span. Span, if you go to uh, Bootstrap and go and take a look at the components, we're over here at the beginning of the components. There are several glyphicons, right? And these glyphicons uh, can be used to, um, to give a hint on what kind of actions we might be able to do on the particular uh, uh, list of, of elements. So for instance, uh, if we want to add things, perhaps a plus uh, would be appropriate. Let's look. Let's see if we have a plus somewhere here. Did I pass it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. The first one. And you can just grab. This is a set of classes that can be applied. And here's the doc documentation on how to apply them. We can just use a, a regular span, right? And then apply the class to that span, right? Uh, so, for instance, we can say uh, class and then a span right there plus. Uh, so if we go back and re-render, uh, notice that we have a plus right next to the name. You see that? Right? Uh, we can fix that. We can maybe put it on the right-hand side right, as a, as a control. Uh, and to do that, we have several classes to do that. We can uh, decorate this with a uh, pull to the right. That's another bootstrap class right, that allows me to very quickly start laying out my content. And there it is. It puts it on the plus sign on the right-hand side. Uh, same thing with the Wikipedia, Facebook, all these. Uh, we might be able, we, we might want to be able to edit them, right, or manipulate to so that we can uh, update their their names and their and any other descriptions and whatnot. And we could use similar uh, similar glyphicons. We can copy uh, the span, or maybe we can do it uh, brand new. We can create another span, uh, span uh, class, and this is a glyphicon. Uh, glyphicon. Uh, we can add, make it use maybe uh, maybe a pencil, meaning that you can edit this somehow. Um, uh, uh, or we could use maybe the the cog. Where is it? Cog. Can't find it. I think I remember. It's glyphicon. Glyphicon. Cog maybe. There it is. Cog. And uh, if we refresh, there it is. It adds a cog uh, right uh, after the, uh, the text. And we can, we can use the same technique we used earlier to just pull it to the right-hand side. Okay? And they become nicely aligned one on top of each other. Okay? And we can just grab this span and just uh, add it to the other, uh, to the other uh, elements. Something like that. Make sense? All right? Everybody okay? All right. Uh, so the next thing might be that uh, that as we as we, um, as we as we make this bigger or smaller, right? We might want to display different different uh, more columns, right? Perhaps we like to display, uh, you know, when was this website created? Uh, how many visits has this website created? More statistics, right? That are available. At you know a larger screens, we can add you know show more statistics. But at smaller screens, maybe we might decide to just keep the name of the website. Okay, uh, so we can we can use uh, the uh, the grid system that we just looked at earlier uh, to do something uh, like this. All right, so let's do that. All right, so for instance, uh, here in the line item, right, we can we can decide that this is a a a, 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 a div nested div in here that has uh, that has a row that can contain many columns, right? So div class column, okay? Um, and so let's add uh, four columns, right? Uh, the first one may be the name uh, of the website, uh, maybe followed by, a, you know, when was it created, or when was it less updated, uh, and, the, and then uh, how many visits, right? And maybe the last column might be that, 
that uh, cog at the end. All right. So let's do that. Let's add. Let's add that many columns. So if we want four columns, uh, uh, so they all have to add up to twelve, right? So we could make them all three, right? Three times four is twelve. So we'll do um, xs three. What does that mean? That means that e I want the, the I want four columns even in the tiniest of devices, right? So let's start with that. Well, let's start with that. Um, I want uh, four of those, and uh, the name would uh, would go there. Name, uh, and the co and the and the plus it would go at the very last one. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, it looks like. Uh, we it works. Uh, uh, it hasn't changed anything. It hasn't changed anything. Uh, but ideally, we, we do have those columns there. Let's add some titles there. So this might be uh, updated, uh, and this might be uh, visits. Visits. There it is. So we have four columns, right? Uh, they're equally spaced. The things that they, on the right hand side, uh, what we did is that we pulled them to the right, right? So that that means that probably it would have been. Uh, equal space, but we we are we are uh, justify them all the way to the right. Make sense? All right now, one of the problems might be that if we start making this smaller and smaller, perhaps it still looks okay, right? It will still goes okay. But let's let's use the same technique, but adding the adding adding uh, um, actual content for the for the columns below, right? So again, for for uh, let's uh. <coughs> Let's grab this, right? Let's let's just make a template here so that we have the same for all of them. Class row, uh, and we we want a, a a column for this. Let's empty it out so that there's a template that they're all going to look the same. So I'm going to grab this, uh, and I'm just going to paste it in each one of these. Paste, paste. Uh, and let's move some of the content here. So put uh, Wikipedia there, and this Glyphicon, I'm going to add it in the middle. Uh, same thing for Facebook. Let's grab Facebook. Let's put it in there, uh, and the Glyphicon in the middle. Uh, and finally, uh, Twitter. Let's uh, put it in here, uh, and the Glyphicon as the last one here. Right, and did we do it for Amazon? No. This the last one was Amazon, right? Uh, all right. So I, I, I think all of them have have those columns. They just have don't have any any information. So Wikipedia. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's uh, add some uh, uh, date. Um, you know, 2017, 07, um, uh, 05. Right, so we have some content for that. Uh, visits uh, three million hundred and some other whatever. Lots of lo lots of visits. Okay. Uh, if we make this smaller, notice that we start having some weird wrapping. Right. So we might decide that we don't want that uh, that column to display. Right. We want to hide it somehow. Right. Uh, it's because we have some weird wrapping. So we might say, you know, don't show. Uh, one of the columns, right? We, what we might want to do, perhaps, is uh, depends on which one we find to be more more important, right? We'll keep that one, right? Perhaps update is more important than visits, right? We might decide to, as this becomes smaller, uh, we we hide the, the the visits column, okay? So let's do that. Right? So what we could do, um, the uh, the um, uh, we could do uh, is that for the visits, uh, yes, we want to uh, perhaps hide it, right? When when it, when we have it for um, when we have it uh, uh, be too small, right? So what we could do is use uh, um, a, another class, right, that hides content at different uh, uh, um, at different screen sizes, right? There is a class called hidden, right? Hidden. That uh, has different uh, uh, very uh, different versions. That says hidden access means hide this content. Don't render it, right? When you are at this screen size, right? Which is exactly what we want, 
when I hide this content, when I hide when we are, are extra small, right? Okay, so let's try that. Okay, so notice that indeed as I become extra small, right, it, it, uh, it, dis, it, it hides, right? It's, it's no longer there. But because it's no longer there, right, whatever was to the right of me is now, you know, comes, comes to try and fill the gap, right, for this, for this element that no longer is being rendered. Okay, so we have to compensate for that, right? Because because it, this is no longer being rendered, somebody has to fill its its place. Okay, uh, so one one technique that we could do is that is that notice that it has, has become smaller and smaller. The content for the updated date doesn't fit, so it would be nice, right, that it would have a larger uh, uh, size at <coughs> smaller uh, at at smaller. Uh, um, uh, smaller widths, right? Uh, so, so we can we should go back to uh, uh, well, and this this hit and excess should be the same for all of these, right? For the visits here and all of these, right? And it's what is it? it's the it's this one right here, right? And that one right there, right? All the columns, right, should behave the same way, okay? So, so notice that. Um, Right, as as this becomes, as it's becoming smaller and smaller, right? This the, that that uh, third column is being hidden. Uh, so what we'd like to be able to do, right, is that the this column. What one thing we could do is that this column should take up that that uh, the the space that we're no longer being is being rendered by the third column. Yes. That is that is the the the. the the size of uh, the iPhone's screen, uh, of, that's what's considered extra small. Yeah. You can change that. You can change the, 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 those, uh, those thresholds, right? Um, they give you the, the entire source code. Uh, and you can change those thresholds, right? If you have a specific different threshold that you want to target. Yep. But those are the defaults, right? You can change that to be some, whatever you want it to be. Uh, all right, so what we could do is, uh, is, uh, is have. The second column, right, take up that that uh, uh, um, the space for the for the width that we're no that's no longer there, right? So what we could do is um, is that uh, we can change this a little bit and say uh, this extra extra small, right? I want it, I want this to be three columns, right? The width should be three columns, not at extra small, but actually for for small screens and above. See that, right? Because in extra small, right? I like I like a different layout. I like to be able to say here is that for for small screens, you are of size three, right? And also right here will also be column. Um, and what we like to be able to do that is that in extra small, we like for this to be six. See that? Meaning when the one when the it disappears in the extra small screen. We would like this one to take up its place. Right? Take up the three columns that are no longer there. Take them up, right? But that gives us a a, a a challenge, right? What should this do when this is taking up three columns, right? In the in the small screens, right? So we should tell it that for uh, for the small screens, I like to be three, right? But for the extra small, I like one to be six. You see that? All right. So let's try that. Let's try that. Let's refresh, right? So as we become small, um, uh, notice that uh, the uh, that it's disappearing. The visits. I guess we fix it for the uh, uh, for the first row, but we didn't fix it for the for the header, right? So let's fix it for the header, and let's see, let's apply that same technique for the header. So let's grab that, and let's apply it here and update it, and and for this one right here, grab here and. And copy it right here, paste it. Let's, let's refresh and let's try it again. And so notice that for the for the heading and the first column, right? It's and the first row that's working, right? Notice that the visits and the numbers are disappearing, right? And the second column is taking up the space for that, right? And notice that the 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 uh, the dates uh, are no longer being scrunched up on the right hand side. Yeah, makes sense, right? 
so that we were, we would apply the same the same uh, technique for all the other rows. Right, so this is for the second one right here, right? And for the second one right here. And same thing for the for the third column would be right here. And for the third column right here. All right, so now they should all behave the same way. There we go. Right. So it just uh, that 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 third column just disappears. Right. Uh, uh, when 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 it's appropriate. Make sense. Right. Uh, one more thing that you might want to do is that is that perhaps we're making we're putting way too much space. Right. On the right hand side, and 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 in smaller screens we're not leaving enough space for the name. Right. Uh, so we might we might want to decide is that. Perhaps too much space we're, we're adding, we're, we're leaving for, for that icon, right? It doesn't really need three columns, right? With two columns might do, maybe one column might do, right? Uh, so you might uh, uh, go back and, and, uh, and, and reconsider that last column, right? You might say that maybe two is enough, right? This is two is enough for, the, for that last column, for that last column. Okay, but now the problem is that it doesn't add up to twelve. Right? So that that one column that we removed for that for that glyphic gun at the end, uh, somebody has to grab that that column, right? So it, it, an appropriate place would be maybe the name, right? That's that's more important, right? To give more space for the for the name, right? So we give, can give it one more column uh, for the name. Right? And then now, now it shifts over. And notice that now the name has one more column to work with. Right? And so now notice that the date is no longer right, encroaching on top of the name. See that? Right? And you can keep, keep doing this over. Right? You could say that maybe visits, since it disappears so early, right, we might decide that perhaps it doesn't need three columns. Maybe two columns are enough. Because by the time it gets too small, right, it's gone. It's no longer there. Make sense? So you might decide that two columns might be enough also for, uh, for, for this one, right? So you might say that this is, uh, uh, so this is two, uh, and uh, we're going to add it to this one, five, right? And this is also two, and this is five. Two, five, two, and five. Uh, two and five. Uh, I guess I added wrong. <laughs> five and three is eight. Wait, what happened? I must have added wrong. Okay, I'm doing this live. <laughs> did I did I add wrong? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, column four, three. All oh, right. I need to consider also the column. What happens here, right? All right. I'll let you play with it. All right. You have plenty of time. Uh, Okay, so so the next part would be to uh, make this um, uh, be able to navigate to the uh, to the edit, right? Be able to edit this page, or to to you know to edit a particular website, or to create a new website, right? Uh, and for that, these these over here would need to be links, right? So that would allow you to navigate uh, to those other pages. So let's do that next. <coughs> 